Hi guys, uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Foam Core. I've been currently working on uh, constructing a science fiction film, that's one of the reasons I've been so busy, and um, I've been trying to use Foam Core as a building material for several reasons. That is that it is light, it's exceptionally easy to sort of cut into, so you can um, literally cut shapes out of it like so. Fairly easy. Um, it's not actually that flammable and um, sometimes I mess around a little bit too much with flames on my set because I'm kind of a pyromaniac but as you can see it kind of doesn't catch in uh, the way that a lot of papery sort of sets can be so that's quite a good one as well but main reasons are it's light it's easy to cut up and you know you can cut all sort well fumbled it there but you can cut all sorts of bits off of this stuff um, negatives well, there's a lot of negatives with Phone Core, um, namely that it's very, very weak and easy to damage. Uh, say we take this one, um, say we take this one here like this, and we grab a Perspex rod like so. Now, if someone falls into the set, they can cause a lot of damage. So, you know, whack, you've got a bit of damage. Even small, like little knocks onto the set can cause little bits of damage there. Let's see if you can see those. Now they cut, they become quite obvious on um, good quality high definition cameras. Just turn up the game for you there. Um, not necessarily, um, not necessarily good. Also, in terms of durability, even when it's been knocked like so, and it's got like a great big huge gargantuan line in it, you've got. Um, You've got massive lines that are never going to come out of the foam core. A little bit of um, a little knock in the foam core like that, and well, you're not going to be able to really use it for its intended purpose. And whilst you can still cut little bits off of it and salvage it for like buttons on consoles, it's still not really ideal. Um, I I've moved on to really using much more perspex and acrylic sort of things because well, you know they don't get damaged very easily. Whack! Lots of fun that uh, taking out one's frustration. This stuff's actually quite expensive, and uh, a couple of the other problems are if you're taping it into place, which is pretty much the only way to get it into place, or if you're gluing it, you're sacrificing the foam core because it literally bits of it peel off like that. And that's not really great um, in terms of um, having a reliable set. And if one unit like this gets really severely damaged or even minutely damaged, and it's part of a huge wall of foam core that you've got, say you've got um, three segments going top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom on both sides, and the middle one gets damaged or whatever, all of it has to come down. And because all of it is so flimsy, the entire set is pretty much destroyed in the process of just getting that one panel out. So it's not necessarily good. I'd highly recommend covering it up. But then again, as foam core is extremely light, um, you can't really attach too much over it to cover things because it will start coming off relatively easy if it's got any sort of um, weight to it. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend using foam core. Um, it's quite expensive for what you get. Um, and whilst, you know, it does have its bonuses, I'll, I'll just, you know, light that one a little bit again, you know, because it's all a bit of fun. Whilst it has its bonuses, I just haven't really been able to use it in the way that I would want to. Um, I'm not saying don't play around with foam core, and there are some fantastic sets that people have made on YouTube using it, which is one of the reasons that I've um, gone out there in the first place, but uh, yeah, it's not worth not worth your time if you're starting out, um, or rather if you have any sort of experience building things and you are taking huge production risks by splashing out on something that expensive. Um, I mean, if you're... If you've got no money at all, try using cardboard because it's it's pretty much a, just a little bit more flimsy, um, depending on the thicknesses of the card. And you, I find you can do a lot more with cardboard, really. But um, you know, um, I'm sure there's people who would argue against that. Um, I suppose you can cover up problems in the foam core with cardboard and paint over it, but. Um, it's not something that uh, I would really use as a set building utensil. 
I'm going more into the lands of perspex, acrylic, wood, and um, I've been I've got a whiteboard <laughs> behind me here, which is currently blotting the light out of the room because I'm working nights. So yeah, and anyway, um, if you want to use it, use it, but I wouldn't really recommend it because of how easily damaged it is, and my sets tend to get damaged quite easily. So um, I'm trying to go for something that's more durable. Um, because although I've gone for cheapness in the past, it's got an odd way of coming back and biting you in the neck and saying, um, actually, because you've gone for a really, really cheap set, the money you've spent on the materials, on all these other different materials, which you've got to cover things up, is now going to go to waste. So I much prefer something which is durable, reliable, and not going to cave in and collapse on you. Um, having said that, another of the problems with foam core um, is that because of its lightweightness, if there's any sort of airway or air passage or movement, it can sort of move like that in the movement with with the air and stuff. So, yeah, I I just don't really like it. I mean, I've destroyed three panels of foam core trying to make this video. Every single time, I can't really think of the things to say, but I wouldn't recommend it because um, it gets damaged really, really easy. And you know, you can't make a you can't make a successful YouTube video um, without a little bit of wanton destruction. I was actually going to try and burn it with you know the whole lighter thing, but for some reason my lighter can't handle the um, power of the stuff coming out of here. So maybe I'll do a video where I set fire to stuff in the future if you're interested in that. Uh, I quite like fire a little bit too much and uh, I'm hoping to have a bit of it in um, my, my film that I'm working on at the moment. But, you know, we'll find out more about that later. And um, I went on a big mission the other day and I uh, picked up a model for it from um, Martin Bauer, who is a renowned model maker. And um, I will be um, doing a little video on that uh, shortly. Anyway, um, what can I say? It's um, It's been a while and I'm sorry. Um, and if you've got anything that you want to say to me or anything, uh, please leave a comment on the video. I, I always look forward to hearing from you guys. And if I can't always respond to them because of uh, the way that YouTube does pon um, like comments, because sometimes you ca literally can't respond to a comment, it's annoying, then I'm very sorry. Um, because I always like to contact people back, even if they're um, lashing me with abuse. This isn't a particularly good video, by the way, and so I'm sorry about that. But... Uh, I've been working on a lot recently and I've not had time to sort of throw together everything and make it look good. I'm actually out there trying to make films, not um, not just sort of sitting back and saying, well, I can make the best video in the world. I just wanted to make a quick video explaining why I don't like foam core. And it's dull, it's plastic and it's, you know, quite easily bent and that that's a piece of foam core ruined right there. You know. I just wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, uh, take care and uh, sorry that this video has been so depressing. I know that my voice is very, very, very boring. I could become Alan Rickman any time now. Um, but, you know, who knows? Anyway, see you later. Take care. Bye and have a lovely day.